Hey everyone, welcome back to more Pokemon XG Next Gen. Last time, uh, you know, he went through Snagum's hideout a bit more, and uh, yeah, Gonzap has given us this um, decision to make. Will we join Team Snagum or not? I think we will. Yeah, <laughs> don't lie because you're not, obviously no good at it. Your lips are twitching. All you really want to do is get the snack machine back, don't you? Fine, you'll have the snack machine back, but only if you can beat. Alright, so this is like a tough fight because I don't think you get healed from him. You might actually get healed, they might have changed that. I'm not 100% sure, but um, start off with Crawdown of Feraligator, which is pretty scary. I think, yeah, we are healed. I mean, I guess that's uh, pretty nice. I think I am going to use Sword Dance with you. I'm going to use uh, Thunder Wave on uh, Feraligator. They're also pretty fast. Like, I don't know how they're both faster than Seedra, because Seedra is quite fast. Aha, uh -huh, that is unfortunate. Or at least you can do some uh, decent amount of damage. Um, I was gonna go into Salsa, to be honest. But I'm a little scared that he might take too much damage. Uh, so being healed actually makes this battle a lot easier. And Crawlon is just kind of going for Aqua Jet instead of, like, anything really threatening. Yeah, being plus two really helps. Um, kind of just... I'm, I'm missing the words. It's, it's, it helps uh, with the fact that the Skarmory doesn't have that great of an attack. Patches up that weakness, but damn, that did a lot of damage. Well, it's done now. Feraligator's dead. Energy Ball to Crawdon, and then... Uh, I mean, I guess we'll just probably uh, roost. I mean, we've got plus two, it's kind of, uh, it would be a waste to just kind of let Skarmory die now. Mighty Yenna, which will lower our attack by uh, a stage, so we only have plus one, and then there's Nido King. Alright, Titania, you use Roost while you use Scald on Nido King. Uh, I don't think uh, he'll survive. This roost is pretty nice though. Get it up back to 81. And then a bit more of the leftovers. I guess we'll go back into... Uh, I think this isn't a bad option here either. No, I'm still gonna go into Seedra. Um, yeah, double team on, uh, what's this called? On uh, Nido King. Play rough for a little bit of damage, but not a ton. Alright, well, we're faster than at least Nido King. Don't think this will kill, though. Actually, it did. Wow. Nice job, uh, Cedra. I don't know if you got a crit, I didn't see the message, but. Alright. Now we're, we're, we're probably gonna win this battle now. Assuming nothing incredibly terrifying comes up next. Another Shadow Pokemon. I don't think they have Shadow Pokemons in the normal version, right? Because I can't get him. That's a critical hit. Didn't do that much. 
Shadow Slayer might be a little scary though. Man, I wish I had the fucking uh, stag machine at this point. Bringing in uh, nine tails. Like, let me goddamn catch you! Holy shit! I want to catch. You. I want to try and catch it, but we don't have the stag machine, which makes me sad. All right, you use Roost and you use Blizzard. He, pr he probably flits. He and uh, Sableye, they probably just uh, become mere B Pokemon. Alright. He's got one more Pokemon left. He's got his Karmary himself, okay. Steel Wing and Blizzard. Blizzard should still do a decent bit of damage to him. I know he had a Shadow Skarmory in the uh, in a uh, Pokemon Coliseum. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Well, he, that guy's got Iron Head. I know Iron Head is actually a TM, so we'll eventually get Iron Head for uh, our own Skarmory, probably. Alright, now he's sending in Fluffy and we should just win, right? Alright, Gons have defeated. No! Apple fled somewhere. If I had your expertise in the snack machine, we'd have no trouble crushing Cypher. But fine, I promise is a promise. Here, take your snack machine back. Huh? Are you serious, Gonza? After all the trouble we went through to get it? When are we going to seal more Shadow Pokemon from Cypher? This kid's fighting spirit brings back. This kid's fighting to bring Cypher down, right? Him and us, we're both after the same thing. Here, kid. Take it, kid. You can have your snack machine back. Hooray! That thing didn't fit my arm anyways. Ah! <laughs> that was so funny. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I may... As well, give you this too. It just goes to show how I can be generous. We got his key. This is a gift for me. There's a chest in the corner of the ground floor. That's the key for it. All right, um, leave my uh, area now, please, and kill. Uh, what's it called? Kill Cipher. All right, two full heals. That's also pretty cool. All right, can you give me like Shadow Apsol, maybe? You go into the PDA for like the Shadow Pokemon list, like... Yeah, there's a bunch of lads here. There's also the Politoed, which you failed. We did get you, so there's that. I am curious to see whether or not that one guy still has the what's it called. But, um... First, I guess we'll go to the poker spot, which, um, yeah, um, uh, this poker spot is still kind of annoying, but I, I'm like, <coughs> I'm trying to convince myself that, uh, Dratini has the dragon scale we need to get, uh, Kingdra, because, like, surely, Surely they have what's it called, right? 
surely there's like a dragon scale that will get to get Kingdra. Because otherwise it wouldn't give you Seedra, right? And it's, uh... It's Horsey. Oh, well, I guess Horsey is here too. Is he Horsey, like, of all of it, like, level 32 or something like that? Which... I, I, de I definitely wouldn't have gotten Horsey. Maybe I should have caught him in the hope that he might have had the Dragon Scale, though. Hmm. Um... Horsey could have very well helped the Dragon Scale, I've realized. Which... Um... Uh, yeah, that... that, that makes me look like kind of an idiot. I think, uh, what's it called? Had the Draco scale, uh, you know, uh, fucking, um, uh, Cedra. I think he had the dragon scale, or the uh, Draco plate. Um, that may have been a little stupid of me. It is nice if we can just get there for you this way. Uh, I'm gonna go, and I'm just gonna assume, uh, Sableye is from Mirror B. Otherwise, we can probably, like, just come back. So, yeah, that's knockoff. Knockoff is a great move. Which, like, everyone could learn. God, I am... Who knows? Like, well, what, what is a better move, you guys think? Knockoff or Sucker Punch? They're both good moves, though. It's just that, like... Two uh, dark move seems a little bit of excessiveness, you know what I mean? Let's go to uh, Real Game Coliseum really quickly. I think everything should be available now because we also couldn't do things like battle CDs. But I want to at least buy some uh, TMs. Because we've got a lot of excess money now, from mostly from grinding uh, on the Coliseums. But... Um, yeah, I want some good moves, despite the fact that most of my Pokemon already have a pretty good move set. It's kind of the completionist in me, wanting to get like every TM. Alright, well, let's see what this is. This is a Sludge Wave, no thank you. This is Ice Beam. Maybe Skull, we already have. Flamethrower, I mean, we have it on the Pokemon we wanted. Iron Head. Yeah, why not? Let's get Iron Head. Thunderbolt. We don't have any Pokemon that can learn it at the moment. So we'll wait for now. Energy Ball is good, but he already has it. Dragon Pulse. I think I will get Dragon Pulse. Earth Power seems pretty interesting, but I don't think we have any Pokemon for it. Heat Wave. Nah. We already have this uh, monster. Shadow Ball. I mean TM, not Monster, but uh, Shadow Ball. Yeah, I'll get it. Rock Slide. Thunder. Aerial Ace. Poison Jab. Psychic. Dark Falls. Okay. I don't want to use up all of the money I have, but the. Uh, we got, like, some of the TMs here now. Dragon Pulse will be nice for uh, Cedra. Which, um, yeah. Thunder Wave has been quite useful on him, though. But I think I will now go into uh, just Dragon Pulse for some more um, coverage. An Iron Head I'll give to uh, Titania. You know, Flareon sure learns a lot of moves. Like, Headbutt really isn't that good. I don't... I do like Sucker Punch on him, though. Who could... I don't know, if you can learn Stomping Tantrum. Huh. You know, they sure gave a lot of different moves to Pokemon. I'm gonna give you Stomping Tantrum to give you some more coverage. 
But I think like short dance with um, soccer punch is always uh, quite good. But uh, they, they definitely give some Pokemon some extra extra move coverage. Because something tells me that Flareon normally doesn't learn Stomping Tantrum. And probably not even Iron Head. Alright, um... I think we go to Cypher's Key layer, right? I think my guys are fully uh, healed up. They are... Uh, let's go for this run too. Who knows how that'll uh Great scoring the road. You're getting on my nerves. Don't you think hot stuff just because you beat me once by a fluke? I want you to show him off that weird machine on your arm. You're begging for a thumping and I'll deliver it this time. It just sounds wrong, thumping. Like it just doesn't feel like I know he means like I'm gonna beat you up, but it just does not give off that impression and it gives off a much more sinister impression if you know what I mean. Alright, Arcanine Pincer. Those guys will fucking destroy us. This is like a really bad matchup, isn't it? At least getting the Intimidate off on them is pretty good. Um... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna switch Skarmory into, uh, into you. And, uh, fuck, what can you do? You can do, like, a pretty strong stomping tantrum. We'll do it on Pinsir. We'll do a uh, Super Fang on Pinsir because we're summoning Seed Ryan anyway. Okay, he got rid of, uh... Okay! Interesting. <laughs> yeah, we're minus two, so we should uh, take that into account with uh, Mighty Yen. I might just switch Mighty Yen for later when he gets out Zangus. Kind of hope he gets out Zangus by the end instead of early. I'm just gonna go and assume he's gonna go after. Uh, a mighty yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna go into Flareon, I think. I'm hoping that we just uh, destroy Arcanine, but I'm a little scared that he's gonna like head or something like that. Although, uh, Cedra does take it pretty well. Although, two is a little scary. Oh wow, one shot, that is nice. I guess they are a couple levels below us now. Has everyone gained like a good couple levels now? From the uh, snack on hideout. Sand goose. Alright, well, let's be real here. Cedra is not gonna get an attack off, I think. Maybe, maybe actually. You might. It's hard to say. I think he might actually survive the the wild charge here. Yes, he does. Now, see, Zangus might also be faster, which will be an un, uh, unfortunate thing. But he isn't, so we can get, uh, finish off Tauros. So, Cedra, Cedra has done his work here. Sword dance on you to take out, like, what's next? Shadow Strength misses, which is really good for us. Chatway goes down, allowing us to go into Mighty Anna to uh, Super Fang him a couple times. Machamp, alright. Let's just Super Fang Zangus and, uh, I guess Stomping Tantrum Machamp. Champ. 
Stone Edge, yikes. And he hits it too. Probably kills. Oh, it doesn't. Well, uh, one more super thing against Zangus, and I guess I'm a little scared of a potential sucker punch or something like that. He had bullet punch as well, so we just counter it with a, a sucker punch. Good. Shadow Hunter. Alright, you did your thing, Fluffy. Alright, who would he go into? I'm gonna go into Titania hoping he goes into uh, Pinsir. Uh, never mind, he goes into Rhydon. Alright, uh, let's Super Fang Rhydon and then... Uh, I think it's time to throw an Ultra Ball. An Ultra Ball. At Zangu's hope. Hopefully we catch it. One. Okay, we did not catch it. Oh yeah, this Zangus has got like a couple of Intimidates on him. Metal Claw. Metal Claw, do you want to raise your attack? Is that your strategy? Alright, let's Super Fang Zangus another time and let's Iron Head ride on. Okay, well now he goes for something actually threatening. Catch that son of a gun. One, two, three. Let's go, alright. Now he's just got pincer left, I think. After I finish off right on here. You know, the only thing I can really say is god damn kudos to Mighty Anna for just doing work. Um, I guess we just do another Super Fang uh, Drill Pack combo. Spencer probably doesn't have speed Scar Marie. All right, nice. Morphin's a good dog. She's a good girl. Now we got Zangus. Very nice. Ugh, the punk fought me, and Gorgon will be furious with me again. I should go away, somewhere far away where Cipher won't have any influence. So long, punk, I've had enough of battling. You'll to last a lifetime. He became Superman. Oh god. <laughs> there you come. Hey, hey, hey. This is no place for a kid like you. No, no. Can't let you in. Nope, you can't along right now. We run along. There's no place for a kid like you. Oh, wait a minute, that weird machine on your left arm. You sort of look like that kid I saw on TV, but maybe not. Hey kid, were you ever on TV? I was. What? The kid's taking the fight to Cypher. What an opportunity. I'll knock you out and earn myself a promotion to admin. Hold it there. In comes Gonzap. That kid's special. He's not anyone's, anyone you lot can beat. If you know what's best, let him through without a fuss. What? Don't make me laugh. 
Hey, kid. Let's teach him a lesson. Battle with me. Oh. This is interesting. Is this normally like this? I feel like normally they just knock him out. Okay, well, I think he healed our uh, Pokemon. Did he? Actually, he didn't. Titania just had full health. Well, whatever. Drill pack Cypher away. Okay, so he's gonna go for Earthquake. Is that his thing? Well, too bad. Um, Skarmory also doesn't get hit by Earthquake. Gonzeb, no! Watch out, Gonzeb. He's strong. Oh, this is an eight. We're facing eight Pokemons here. I was wondering for a second, like, is this gonna be one of those battles where both trainers have, like, over uh, the six limit? I know there's some ROM hacks where you have to face like 6 versus 12 battles sometimes, which can uh, be incredibly fucking tough, especially when you're like... It usually only happens when you uh, have a uh, CPU with you, and that is usually what makes it tough. Alright, that's unfortunate. Also, we didn't kill it. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna use Sword Stance. Alright, Mighty Anna, you finish it off. Let's go. I wonder when we actually, like, get spikes. To be fair, we might have just missed spikes by level up from like when we caught it. Alright, what is the next Pokemon? It's Weezing! I'm gonna Iron Head Weezing. Dolph is basically shown to be pretty uh, fucking useless to me. Only unfortunate thing being that he paralyzed me, but uh, we can work through it. See, Weezing is even slower with a paralyzation. Is that even a word, paralyzation? I mean, he's paralyzed, I mean. Alright, it's Batang. I think I'll met Iron Head Batang as well. I believe Steel doesn't resist Steel. I might not be correct about that though, but we have got plus two. This is super effective if, uh, alright, never mind, he's using it against Donphan. I don't know if, uh, I'm not sure if that is something they changed or not, because, um, in Generation 3, Steel still resisted, uh, moves, like the Psychic and Dark typing, which, uh, or I mean the, psych the Dark and Ghost typing it used to resist, which, it doesn't in the later games, but I don't know if they changed it in this one. I mean, they added the fairy typing, so they very well could have added it. All right, Gonzo, send out like for alligator, please. No, it's not very effective. All right, let's use something to fucking destroy. All right, well that thing is getting. I mean, he's gonna kill, what's it called? He's going to kill Matang here, but he's also gonna die to uh, Don Fan. You know, 
He would have died if Dolphin decided to use uh, Earthquake instead, but I guess Matan got hit by that. Okay, here comes Aerodactyl. I'll destroy that thing for sure. I will say, this dude's got a pretty cool team with, you know, Cypher, Aerodactyl, Matang, like... You can't really hate it, there's some cool ass Pokemon. I guess we just don't deem Donphin as a threat here. Okay, you just killed it. Damn. Alright, well now he goes for Earthquake. Killing uh, Houndoom. Well, he did some work. To be fair, I'm really just playing slow game with <laughs> keeping Skarmory in. It's just that I just don't see a reason to get him out of it. I've got a plus two. Like, he just doesn't take the hits. He doesn't, doesn't hurt him. Ooh, now we get spikes. But now we kind of come to the dilemma of, like, what... What do we get rid of? Like, I'm thinking of getting rid of Roost. Now, Roost is a good move, it's just that, like, we also just kind of have, like, items we can use instead. Now, see, I don't really use a whole lot of items, so in that sense, we lose that, but, um, Spikes is really nice. I want to have Spikes. Like, unless we get Stealth Rocks, I don't see us getting, uh, replacing that move. Alrighty, boo the sandstorm, but uh, here comes Feraligator. Feraligating the, the fuck out of you. Let's throw out some spikes. Yeah, I kind of figured I would kill it. Alright, we weren't allowed to throw the spikes down. That's kind of bullcrap. What do you mean we weren't allowed to use spikes there? Wow, this relegator is kind of a beast though. Shame we are paralyzed because otherwise we probably wouldn't have lost for alligator here. So, you know, what, the, what does he have left? I mean, we bring Nido King out. Let's go. He's got two more monsters left. Alright. That's annoying. I mean, let's be real, right? He's probably going to die by Nido King. So why don't we just use Sword Dance or something? Nido King is a quick boy though. Or I mean, uh, Venusaur is a quick boy. Nido King would have hurt us. Who knows? It wouldn't surprise me if like Nidoran was uh, a Pokemon you could get from uh, from the Oasis area because we never really bought it with that. And it's Steelix is the last guy. Well, I mean that kind of is unfortunate. I mean this guy is kind of Defense McGee. I'm just kind of curious how much a drill pack will do. Oh, Brick Brick, look at that. That'll do like a little bit of damage. Oh, he also has... What, Rocky Helmet? Also, this Steelix has blue eyes. It's got beautiful blue eyes instead of... I think he's supposed to have red eyes, right? Like, I... Pretty sure Steelix normally has red eyes. But this is the blue eyes Steelix. Alright, good job. Bring out Crawdon, the physical attacker. Well, I mean, at least he's gonna do some super effective damage, but why do you have to use Aqua Jet? Why, do, why can't you use, like, Waterfall? 
Some uh, Scarberry is still faster, so I mean, we do this. Boom. Good job, Scarberry. You did that all by yourself. No help needed. Waken, do your thing. Yo. Hey guys. <laughs> hey you guys. From Stagum Gang, what do you think you're doing? Bloom, hit her with a sleep powder. Good going, Waken. Heh <laughs> glad to be of service. Now's our chance, hurry. We can wreck Cypher right now. Yeah, we'll wreck Cypher for next episode. Um, guys, I want to thank you guys for uh, tuning in on this episode. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, next time. Goodbye.